Generally, in a residential lease, the implied warranty of habitability requires landlords to keep the premises in good repair and in a livable condition for tenants. In addition, because leases are contracts, traditional contract law remedies are available to enforce the implied warranty of habitability, and a tenant may obtain traditional contract damages, including termination of the obligation to pay rent. But may a lease be an illegal contract due to the living conditions in the apartment that violate the implied warranty of habitability? The District of Columbia Court of Appeals considered this question in Brown v. Southall Realty Company. In the 1960s, Lily Brown was a tenant in a residential building in the District of Columbia that was owned by Southall Realty Company. At the time, the District of Columbia housing regulations provided that rental properties should be kept in a clean, safe, and sanitary manner. If not, the property couldn't be offered for rent. Further, the regulations provided that rental properties should be maintained and kept in good repair to provide decent living accommodations for the occupants. At the time Brown signed her lease, she was put on notice that certain housing code violations existed on the premises. These violations included an obstructed commode, a broken railing, and insufficient ceiling height in the basement. Subsequently, Brown fell behind on her rent, and Southall brought an action against her in the District of Columbia Court of General Sessions for possession. At trial, Brown argued that she didn't owe rent under the lease because it was an illegal contract based on the living conditions in her apartment. The trial court disagreed and ruled in favor of Southall, awarding it possession. Brown appealed to the District of Columbia Court of Appeals. 